Hello everybody, my name is Kevin. Welcome to my video. Um, last night, my car downloaded FSD version 12.5 and I think it's an early access build. Um, I also, as you can see, I have the wheel covers. Um, so my Cybertruck is nearly complete. So at this point, uh, let's just take a demo ride and see what we think of the new FSD. FSD 12.5. Early access on the Cybertruck, and we're gonna go to a local grocery store that I sometimes go to just to test FSD. And let's see if it now will, turn right to stay on Gracewood Circle. Let's see if it will pull out of my driveway. Um, in the past, it wouldn't start in the driveway, and it doesn't look like it's gonna. Okay, there it goes. So, um, well, that's pretty good. It went slowly over my driveway, which is a kind of a little hill. It's got the blinker on, but it's not moving. Let's see here what it does. Just thinking about it. My hands are off. Got the attention alert here, a little square dot. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of help to get it over the hump. I'm gonna just take over here. All right, let's start it. This is usually where I now start. Now turn right from. to stay on Gracewood Circle. So we will get it going here. So now far, turn left onto I've got to say that it is very, very smooth. Much smoother than I remember the FSD on my Model 3. So in 500 got, feet, turn left onto Wilson Ferry Road. We have a car up here in the road. And it's going a little fast. I've now got, turn left onto Wilson Ferry Road. Okay, so it was about to make a mistake and go left around this island. I have seen FSD do that in the past. I was shocked that it tried to do it this time, but I was able to disengage. So we've got a pedestrian here in the road. It's proceeding cautiously around the pedestrian and speed is a little slow. See if it'll speed up here. And I like the new um, hands off system. See, we've got some vehicles in the road here. And so there's a lot of damage from the recent hurricane in my neighborhood. So FSD is doing a good job of going around those vehicles. Still going a little bit slow. This is fine. I'm just going to, I was going to try to speed it up, but it looks like it's already set to 25 miles an hour, which is the speed I think it should be going, but it's still just going at 19 miles, which is fine. Sorry about that. My daughter, my eight year old daughter is doing the camera work and um, she has just a little up there so we're back on track we're doing 28 miles an hour that's the normal speed FSD uh, goes on this road so not a shocker there and so far hands off still I'm paying attention I've gotten a warning a couple of times because I'm trying to uh, deal with the, my, my daughter as well as um, pay attention to the vehicle so but so far so good I mean this is um, other than the one little mishap we had where it tried to go um, the In wrong 500 way on the feet, island turn right onto more Duncan Highway uh, the vehicle so far is done exactly what I would expect now turn right FSD onto more Duncan Highway to do. like I said I had FSD on my uh, model 3 for many years. Let's 
so pulled out in front of a car just a little close but the car had plenty of time to get in around. 1,000 feet turn right onto right highway here. 417 so I'm not sure exactly why the vehicle is taking a ride here the destination we're going to is straight ahead now turn right onto highway 417 but I'm gonna let it do its thing and we will we're just out here really just testing these turns. Really smooth, really, really nice drive. Oh, we got some debris there. He did a good job dodging that debris. I didn't see it up until the last second and it scared me, but it did an excellent job of just of missing that debris. Now we have some more debris right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and disengage this is a little close for comfort, and we got a, another vehicle coming. I didn't want to take a chance because that's a big clog blocking the road almost, or almost in the road rather. So we got FSD reengaged again. Thousand feet. Turn left onto Reedville Road. Going to speed limit here. That was a dead beaver. Um, probably a half mile from the river. So, well, I think that back the river runs right. Now right turn down left here, onto so. Reedville Road. <clears throat> I guess the beaver had made its way a little too far. Okay, so this red light is not working. This will be a good test to see what FSD does. So far it's yielding to all the traffic and it's about, it was about to go at that point. Um, let's see if it goes this time. I give it a little nudge just to push it, make it go, and it went. I think it would have went anyway, but those cars were kind of waiting on me, so we still have a lot of power outages in this area you know, due to the hurricane and debris in the roads, so... That's why the traffic light was not working. So far, very impressed. And this next red light we're coming to likely will not be working as well. So we'll we'll see what happens when we get there. It's just uh, <clears throat> about another couple of thousand feet ahead. feet turn right oh I forgot we were going to the grocery store Publix so let's let it go there so that's the entrance to Publix now turn right but it is actually going to the wrong entrance and I'm going to disengage because I was it was the wrong entrance and so I re-engage it's going into a, a different in 500 now. feet your destination will be on the right yeah so th this is taking some some roads uh, some turns I would not take this is not like the official entrance to um, Publix but it works and we're here and we got some pedestrians some cars this will be a pretty decent test it's always it always does a pretty good job in parking lots as you can see it was maneuvering now your destination is on the right between these pedestrians and the vehicles and so 
it's gotten to where it does a real good job. It's getting over to the right a little bit for this truck. And it's going to try to make a left turn here. Got a lot of traffic, got a lot of pedestrians. And this will be a this will be a really good test. Although I didn't plan on getting this deep in the weeds with FSD this morning. Um, we're, we find ourselves here, so let's just take advantage of it. Okay, we got this car over here. It's waiting on us. And so I think FSD is going to let them go. And now we, we should be able to go. Okay, there it's, it's taking the opportunity and it's going. And for some reason, it just went straight towards the curb of the re of the grocery store. And as it, I don't know what it was doing there. It usually just comes here to this stop sign and stops and then proceeds forward. Let me set this back to my home address. And we're going to re-engage here. We've got some, um, for some reason it's not moving, so I was trying to turn there. We're going to just... Re-engage FSD. Um, it's wanting to go a different way here than what I would normally go, but that's fine. See, we got some traffic coming. Okay, it can go now. Got a pedestrian. It's stopping for the pedestrians. That's good. I hope it doesn't turn here, but it is. So I'm just going to disengage. I don't really want to go out there. It's a very busy intersection. Um, I'm going to have it go down to this intersection and go out. Because we'll have a little bit easier, ch uh, better chance of getting across the road. we got to get across the road to make a left turn. So we're going to have it go here. see the four wheel steering is working on FSD so that's good because that was a tight turn back there for such a large truck to make alright so it, it usually does pretty good here and we've got some traffic coming traffic coming it's going to take it a few minutes before it can go as you can see we've got quite a few cars that are coming it's not as difficult as the truck cook. No, it can go to this truck, and it's doing it. Now, it's got to get over to the left, and not a problem for FSD. Now, this traffic light is not working, so I may have to use the accelerator to give it a little nudge to let it follow this vehicle, but when this vehicle in front of me goes, it should go. And there there it's going it's stopping okay these cars cross traffic's wanting to go so we're just going to stop here and let it go and let's just sit here and see what it does i can feel it moving it's wanting to go so i think it may take it may go i can i will give it a little nudge and we're going to go on there again traffic light's not working So we're headed back home. My main road is about um, half a mile on the left. Well, it says 1.3 miles. So, so far, I'm really impressed with the system. Um, I'm sure it can use some fine tuning, but it's pretty much on par with the 
uh, FSD that I had in my Model 3, uh, although it did make some weird choices on the turns, that's probably more has to do more with the navigation system than it does FSD. And we have a lot of local roads that are shut down and closed uh, due to the hurricane, so um, some directions are really up in the air right now anyway. Really smooth. If you, I tell you, if you haven't been in a Cybertruck yet, really need to test drive one. It is so smooth and quiet. Best driving Tesla I've ever been in. Best riding Tesla I've ever been in too with air suspension. Shout out to my daughter Layla. She's doing the camera work right now. Hello. So we're going to take a left turn here. really good. Sometimes it makes a mistake. It makes that first left into a different uh, neighborhood. But this time it got it right. It went over the yellow line a little close on that turn. I've never seen it really go that go over the yellow line that, that far. Um, maybe it's because we had, you know, traffic coming at a high speed. I don't know. I will say one thing I like uh, it's going a good speed the, on this road. Speed limit is 25. It usually goes 28, which is a little slow for this road. The see if it changes now that it sees a stop sign. Nope, it's still going 35. So this is that's about the speed I normally go on this road, which is good. It's a good speed for this road, even though it's 10 miles over the posted speed limit. So this will be a good test coming up ahead. We have a very sharp left turn and you have to really slow down. Uh, some versions of FSD have, well some kids blow the horn. Some versions of F FSD I've had in the past um, would literally come to a full stop. Now this is doing a good job of, of dodging this debris that we have all over the road, these trees that have been cut down recently slowing down to a really good comfortable speed to make this big turn this is very very human like very impressive it didn't stop it just slowed made a continuous roll around a sharp turn that's exactly what it should do and you can see it's going very slow on this road which is good because we've got you know trucks and people doing work to remove trees and now it's speeding back up a little bit it's amazing the speed control it's the first time i've used speed control on fsd i think i don't know that i ever had it enabled on my model 3 and it's very impressive so far very human-like in the way it's determining how fast to go on these roads all right so it's making it right here and ah let's it, it compassed the road. It was supposed to turn on completely. Missed it. That's a mistake that FSD used to make quite often. And it's just coming to a stop at the curb for some reason. I don't know why. So we're going to re-enable. We're going to re-enable and see if it will continue on. This road will actually go on around to where my street is. So let's just see if it will go around. It should. But it should have turned on that road back there too. I don't know why it didn't. Again, this is a early access preview to Cybertruck FSD 12.5. So sure it's not fully baked yet. Yeah. So we got some debris in the road. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. 
did a really good job. It was not really anything obstructing the road. It was just debris on the surface. It rolled right over it, which is probably what most humans would do. I'll tell you, the vision system is just very impressive. What it, I can tell by the way it's driving, what it's seeing. Yes, yeah, so it's taking a left on our street. Here's our street. And let's just see what it does. This is a cul-de-sac. It usually turns right here. I've never had it turn into my driveway, and it doesn't look like it's going to this time. It just, I thought it was going to come to a stop, but it didn't. It's going to go on around. This is typical, typically, typical behavior. I've seen in the past from FSD, it will continue just to go around the cul-de-sac until you stop it. So, <clears throat> we'll just see if it goes back around again. Yeah, yeah so it's just, I think it's just going to continue to make these loops. But we're going we're gonna to go ahead and just stop it this time here mm -hmm. at my driveway. And that's it. First look at FSD 12.5 on Cybertruck. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video.